Saturday, New York, Florida, Georgia, Texas, and California all share a disgraceful statistic. We are among the top states for human trafficking. It's a billion dollar industry that's more lucrative than drug trafficking, and one local company is now fighting to raise awareness and keep our kids safe. When we think of human trafficking or abuse, we think of big blockbuster movies, kids trapped in cages, or locked away in basements. The truth, unfortunately, is that it's actually all around us. Our churches, backyards, communities, family functions, after-school programs, and even walls like these schools. Nobody wants to believe that it's happening around them, and it's because of that perception that this crisis continues today. I'm Macy the Future Barber, UFC fighter. The future is bright for Macy Barber. Human trafficking and abuse advocate and the victim of abuse. And that was a clip from an educational series launched by Goya Cares, a global initiative aimed at protecting children. Joining us this morning is the president and CEO of Goya Foods, Robert Onanue, and he is joined by Maria Trusa, a survivor of human trafficking. So good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. And we just, for quickly, we want to remind or tell our, tell our viewers that this is obviously a very sensitive yeah. topic. Um, but Bob, tell us how Goya got involved with, uh, against, the, against the fight, or with the fight against child uh, trafficking. Well, it's all about awareness. We really, a few years ago, we weren't too aware of this. We got involved in this movie called The Sound of Freedom with uh, Jim Caviezel, Eduardo Verastegui, and it deals with trafficking. But like you said, it's not just a billion dollar business. It's a hundreds of billions mm -hmm. of dollars business. And the, the money is too attractive. It's the, we have the biggest slavery in the history of, of the world with uh, millions of people being trafficked, uh, exploited. And uh, so bringing awareness to this and uh, forming a coalition of wonderful people like Maria and others to uh, form an army of awareness. And it's all about value and caring for uh, each other. We have to put down the selfie and worry about the next person. The buddy system of swimming, we need to care for each other. But it actually affected one of your employees? Yes, we have an employee whose daughter off to college, she got drugged and then oh it led to, uh, you know, drug use, abuse and, and eventually death. Wow. Oh and, and, and just in that short video that we played, it's very powerful about what you are doing and getting involved in. And Maria, you created the, the I Say No More Foundation after your own experience. And if, you, if you're willing, would you tell us a little bit about your experience? Absolutely. Um, unfortunately, I was trafficked by my father. At the age of nine years old, I was in the Dominican Republic, and my father uh, made a deal with one of his friends that was a witchcraft man um, that was taking my little brother that was four years old. And I took, we believe that he was giving my little brother to be sacrificed. Um, this is 50 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and um, I took my little brother from my father, and my father decided to take me. Uh, he took me and left me with this man who um, forced me to drink a bottle of whiskey at the age of nine mm. and proceeded to rape me the entire night. Oh. Um, yes. <laughs> you know, the body keeps the score. I've been telling my story over 500 mm -hmm. times because I became obsessed uh, realizing that the innocence of the children need to be protected. Yeah. For me to get to where I am today, uh, from coming from such a trauma where I almost lost my right ovary, oh, I had to have surgery, uh, my little body was broken and it repaired, but my soul, my soul took, to this day, I'm still dealing with the trauma, of as you course. could see, you know, just even talking about it, um, your body feels it, and that we need to protect the innocence of the children. Can you talk to us about your foundation, the I Say No More Foundation? I Say No More is protecting the innocence of the children, bringing the awareness, mm -hmm. because the other thing that happens is that sexual abuse of children, there is over every nine minutes, a child is sexually abused. Mm -hmm. Every uh, 60 minutes, a child, two children are trafficked. 60 seconds. Oh, every 60 seconds. So it's, we, this is why this coalition is so important. Yeah. Um, because we need to protect the innocence of the children and bringing that awareness. And I thank you for actually having us here because yeah. you are joining the army 
that is going to be needed to protect their innocence. Yeah, and January is the month of uh, Human Trafficking Awareness Month, and Goya has an educational program, right, to bring out that awareness? Yes, from here we're going to assemblies. We're in the classrooms with Monique Bears. We're doing assemblies to raise awareness with the children, the parents, uh, and the teachers. Uh, and, and I just have to say, you know, Maria's story is there's no greater love than to lay down your life for your brother or sister. And she took herself, she made us in place of her younger brother. And I just tell you, there's uh, we're called to love each other, and that's the only thing way that we're going to stop this is that type of courage and, and love. What's the impact you're having on the youth community, right? Because I can't imagine for a youth to come forward and talk about it or tell their story is easy. So how are you impacting the youth, and, and, how, and how are you reaching them through the program? Well, these assemblies go to these schools. Uh, we're targeting different groups uh, and at different stages. But it's also about... Uh, putting down the selfie and instead of thinking about self like a swimming you, you have a buddy system think about the other person you can save lives yeah. this children's mental illness is also part of the program we got to feel value and valuing ourselves and valuing right. others and and uh, so the children are the future they're the present and the future and if, that's where we have to start and the kids are being indoctrinated so we want to indoctrinate them with with good things, mm. with uh, with love, with mm. value, and and uh, that starts at very young because this trafficking is getting younger and younger. Yeah. So we that's where we got to uh, bring the fight. Yeah. And when you're removed from it, it's hard to believe that it's actually happening. But Bob, Maria, thank you so much for the work that you're doing and thank for you. your courage. Thank you. Sharing your story, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah.